day 378. <sighs> day rating to seven. Got up. Had another day where I turned the alarm off, went to bed, <laughs> or just stayed asleep. Finally got out of bed around nine. So that feels so lazy to say. I don't know why. But it didn't help having that nap or falling asleep on the couch and then waking up and then coming back in here and going to bed like around three. So that, that doesn't help. <clears throat> but that's almost like six hours from three to nine. Then got up, walked the pup. It was super sunny out. Hardly even a breeze. <clears throat> Excuse me, so it felt great. Came back in. <clears throat> gave the pup a little extra playtime, chasing her toys around. Then, of course, it got her food, and I was going ready for my run, or I got ready for my run. My friend Corey had her, her boyfriend was in town. He's like, I really want you to meet him. I want you to kind of get, like, your stamp of approval right from her friend. It's like, yeah, yeah, of course, you know, let me know anything. You know, I, don't, I know that means a lot to you, so <clears throat> just let me know when and where. And they said, okay, we're thinking about Top Golf around noonish, and it was around one. They got pushed to one thirty. So I said, okay, great. I went for my run. Got in five point two seven miles today, which the legs were tired. The <laughs> legs were fatigued after that thirteen yesterday. I, I probably felt better yesterday than I did today, and then. Got back, showered, had a quick smoothie, or more of a protein shake. I didn't really put a smoothie stuff in there. And then head over to Top Golf. Got there a little bit after 1:30, and they said it's about an hour to an hour and a half wait for a bay to hit the golf balls out. And I was like, man, we got some time, so we sat down in the dining area. They had got an appetizer and we were just catching up and then I ordered a chicken sandwich. But the funny thing was, we got there and I gave my friend Corey a hug and then her boyfriend Raj was there and shake hands like, hey, you know, good to see you, nice to meet you again. And that's the funny part is like, again, because we ran track together in high school. And we weren't too familiar with each other. I knew his events. He was more of like a sprinter, long jumper, triple jumper. And he knew me as a distance runner. And we have another mutual friend that we know through track. And so we were catching up, being like buddy to buddy. And my friend Corey, I mean, this was then about, uh, I think I left at 4.15 from there. So it took, I mean, we were sitting down for easily an hour and a half, if not longer, at the table before we got a bay. And then we were sitting down playing one of the games, right, just to get points and having a good time, chatting up still. And then Corey's like, great, this is what I wanted. Or no, she was saying, I knew you guys would get along, but then <laughs> she got to the point where she's like, you guys are just kind of having like your own little bromance talking about anime and TV shows and I'm just kind of over here, like, doing whatever, doing my thing, hitting golf balls. <laughs> and so, we kind of laughed about it, and we're like, just means we're getting along. So, we had a good time, and I said, you know, unfortunately, I got to head out a little bit early. Well, not early, but it was early because everything got pushed back a little bit. But I said, I got to get back to my pup, I got to walk her, and that's her snoring right now, she's... Fell asleep. That's her snoring. And gotta make sure I walk her. My dad's in town and he wants to get dinner, watch the Suns game. So we did that. Came back, had a good walk with her. No troubles. Just sunny, it was great. And then came back in, played with her a little bit, and called my dad, said, Hey, about where are you at? And he said, I haven't left the cemetery yet. So give me another like 15-20 minutes. I said, alright, no problem. 
So I played with the pup a little bit more, chased her around. We even took a little Snapchat of her. She had that little moment where she was trying to gnaw on my hand. So a couple of friends met, mentioned something about, or my cousin mentioned, like finger sausages or something like that. I was like, yeah, it's, it's only funny when it's not your hand. And I mean, she's not doing any damage or anything. I mean, my hand is fine. There's no bleeding or scars or she just likes to, I think it's just her way of playing. I think that's the way maybe her and the other pups played a lot. And I think most pups play like that. So he's just having fun getting her energy out. So which was fine. And then I met up with my dad and left here 5.35, got to the restaurant just before 6. I went back to our restaurant in Manuel's, sat down, ordered some chips and salsa, came out, we were looking at the menu, my dad was looking for something to eat, and I knew what I had wanted, a carne machaca dinner, two sides of rice, flour tortillas, and as many chips and salsas as they would bring out. <laughs> my dad ended up getting the, the, was it the Treso dinner, I think that's what he got. And then we were just sitting down watching the game. <clears throat> we watched the entire game. We started around 6.10. Left at 8.15. I think the game's over, but my goodness, they play the Lakers. And the first quarter, it was, was it 22 to 48? I think it was. So the Suns had tied their career high for first quarter points. And <clears throat> that was it. The game was pretty much over from then. I don't think the Lakers got within 18, 19 ever again. They get up to almost 30, 31. It was, you know, I mean, great for us being the like Suns fans, right? But <laughs> I'm sure the Lakers fans were having a hard time, and I'm sure the players were coaching were having a hard time. But unfortunately, having a struggling year and. The Suns are doing really well. And again, they just showed how great they're doing this year. <clears throat> and a lot of good players, a lot of our players had a good game today. It wasn't just Booker or Payne or Rayton. Um, oh, they had a few more others playing really well, getting a couple steals. I think. Uh, oh my gosh, I was gonna say Hilton. It's the wrong guy. Uh, I'm just learning some of their names now because I've only been able to see so many games and and like uh, I'm good with names when I could see a face I could put a face to the name if it's just a name it just it could be anybody <laughs> so some of the players I'm still catching up on that are new this season but great game fun to watch glad I got to spend another day with my dad dinner with the dad and he drove back he got back safe <clears throat> text me as soon as he got back and said you know i love you thanks again for dinner appreciate it see you again later and we're gonna try to go to the sun's first chicago bulls game in five days so friday we'll see what happens but that's it for the day it, running wise i ended up on was it 48 point nine miles or something like that to run. It was either 47.9 or 48.9. And I thought I was going to run after and I just came back and I was like, I'm tired. <laughs> so I just kind of sat down, passed out briefly on the couch and I said, nope, 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 not going to be here all night. Let's get up and lay down. So came in, finished the push-ups. I'm currently at 140. I did 140 the last three days. I'm going to try to keep it at 140, but Arms have been shaking that last five that I push out, so I'm hoping they can adapt within a week and I could get to 145, 150. Well, we'll see how long it takes, but for right now, that's where we're at. 140 is good. Still raising the bar a little bit, slowly but surely. I'll call it a night there. Let's run your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.